Just caught that nice little fish there on the 75 double clutch. That one's in the nice chrome belly color, one of the new colors in the range. It's probably one of my favorites now, to be honest with you. I was a lemon site special guy, but uh, this one here is really starting to, uh, to provide some really good fish for me and I really like it. So I've a little bit of a rundown on what I'm doing here. Yesterday afternoon, we found this little point here. Um, we're about halfway up the dam in the narrows and there's a little point here with quite a lot of weed that comes out off it. Um, the weeds in five to six foot of water, a foot under the water. So it's a really good spot to be, to be jerk baiting. There's a bit of a ridge line that runs on this side of us. The boat's in 30 foot here now, but just over there, it's only seven or eight foot. So it's really good to be jerk baiting, especially with the weeds. So you can really throw the double clutches. These things get down to three to four foot, three to five foot, uh, depending on your cast and how, how far you want to wind down and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, you can throw it into that weed buried in the weed, rip it out, and then there's there's nearly a hard edge of reed, uh, of, of, uh, of the weed there, sorry, that that you can see the fish on the live, especially with technology these days, using Mega Live, uh, and the live scoping stuff is just, it's just kind of getting to a point of knowing if there's fish there or not, and it's becoming quite easy. So yesterday afternoon, I fished here, we didn't get any bites on plastics, but I threw a jerk bait, got a bite. You could just see just the demeanor of the fish was, um, was totally different when you'd be following your plastic out, they'd just be kind of mulling behind it. But when you're jerk baiting back, they were coming up, they were darting away, they were going back, they were turning around, stuff like that. So you could just see that they were a lot more aggressive and active on it. So with this, you don't need Mega Live to do this, obviously, it just helps to know with, with confidence. But, but uh, with the jerk bait, so I throw it out and then, um, so you throw it out there. Nice long cast over the weed. Give it a couple of wind downs just to get it to depth. I'm hitting weed just there. Then you can just give it some nice jerks. I like to bury into the weed because um, reaction bites, bass tend to like it when it gets jerked out of the weed quite aggressively. So if you're not sure if you've got weed on your lure after pulling it out, just give it a slow little draw and you should be able to feel it work. If it's vibrating and working normally, then you know that it's, that it's working fine. I mix it up with either a one, a two jerk or a three jerk, depending. And you just see what works works best for you, what's most comfortable. I'm using a spin rod here. This is a 6.8, one of the new Commander rods. Um, LFS, so light, fast. 6.8 uh, for the length. You, you do get a little bit less cast being a shorter rod, but it's just a lot easier to use and a lot more um, user-friendly when jerk baiting because you're not hitting the, hitting the rod tip in the water and stuff like that. So if you just do that all the way back, wind it back down again, hit the weed, jerk, jerk, jerk. Mix up your retrieve, do a really short pause, so no pause at all really, you can just keep jerk baiting it back like that. Or you can do a really long pause, do a five, 10 second pause, and sometimes that's what it takes to get a bite. So really mix it up on the day. Like it's winter now, this is perfect jerk baiting time. There's weed back in the dam, the water's high, the bass are thick and they're aggressive. So jerkbaits are really good to get bites out of them.